Brandon, Brian, Oka. <clears throat> and then, um, oh my God, why am I weird? My name is Brian Oka, and I'm going to be teaching um, my way of playing Running Out of Time by Tyler, the Creator. So for this song, there's two different chord progressions. And like for myself, I don't know names of chords, so I looked it up. So if, it, if I probably got some of the names wrong, then oh well. But I'm going to just teach you like what I know. So this is uh, this is the fir first chord progression which uh, it plays on the intro, half of verse one, then the chorus, and then the bridge. <coughs> so this is the one. So that's, that's like the part where it goes like, so it's like, time so for this one the chords is a B major seventh so it starts off with a B then a D sharp then an F sharp and an A sharp and then for the left hand it's just um I use two fingers for to play just like the bass line so it's like the second one is a G sharp minor seventh I know again, like I don't. These are probably wrong names, but I just looked it up online. This is what it said. So, G sharp minor seventh. So left hand goes it. Uh, it goes down to here to a G sharp, and then the right hand's a G sharp, and then a B, a D sharp, and then to an F sharp. At the same time, you can also just use three if your hands aren't that big. But I like using four. So the third one is A sharp minor seventh. So it is. So we started off. And then the third one is. So left hand goes to the A sharp. Right hand. First one A sharp. Then C sharp. Then E sharp. And then G sharp. This one, this one's kind of similar to the third one. So your left hand moves into the C sharp, D flat. <coughs> left hand goes to D flat, and then the right hand will have uh, D flat also, then on F, and then an A flat. So it's like running out of time. kind of sizzle a little bit too. Mm -hmm. I also go, I, I like adding the extra octave. Instead of just like that, I go like that. But it's up to you. Then, for the second chord progression, it's a part for, it's on the second half of verse one, and then it's also on the whole verse two. So it goes like, uh, it starts when he says, wait in your water. So it's like, So you start off with a D flat major seventh, left hand always matching with my thumb. So like, so it starts off with D flat, F, A flat, and then C. D flat, F, A flat, C. And then G sharp minor seventh is the second one. So G sharp, V, D sharp, and F sharp. And then left hand is uh, G sharp. Then F sharp major seventh. Left hand goes into the F sharp, right? First one is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, and then E sharp or F. Yeah, I like messing around, just like, I just move around, stuff like that. And then the last one is 
So it's an A major seventh. So it starts over the A. Your left hand goes to the A. Same with your thumb. Then C sharp. Then E. And then G sharp. So we're like. Bring a time. Bring a time. Bring a time. Bring a time. I do like the chords I do in my right hand, I switch it to my left, so it's like this. And then my right hand just does the melody, so it's like. And yeah, that's basically it. So those are the two chord progressions. On the outro, it kind of goes like a little bit crazy. Where it's like, of time, of time, of time. And it keeps going down, but I never really learned that one. But. As long as you get these, these are like the main ones. Man. Tight. Um, yeah, that's really it. I don't know how to conclude this, but I hope this. I hope you found this helpful at least. Um, if anything, just, you know, like the, like the video, I guess. <laughs> uh, thank you.